Okay, we're back with the finished paint job for the Dell Optiplex 755. I'm pretty sure about a fortnight has passed. Um, I was struggling to get paints and sandpaper and masking tape, but I finally got it and I was able to finish painting it. Um, you can see it's not very even. I have a feeling that might... Well, actually, I think it might just be the light. Okay. Well, I don't think I did a very good job at sanding it down anyway. But it is the bottom, so you're not really going to see it. There was some dents in it, which I could have filled in, actually. I should have had a go at that, but I didn't. Um, and obviously the screw's holding the bottom down. So... But yeah, that's the bottom, which didn't go too bad, but it's going to be hidden for the most part, so... <sighs> You won't be able to see it. I was contemplating covering both panels with clear, with a clear coat, but I might save that for the owner. Eh, they might want to do it. Or at least, the, the, at least the the top panel with clear coat. But uh, this is the power supply, which I painted blue. Yep. <clears throat> I only painted the back and the top. The rest of it was just cleaned with fine sandpaper as best as possible, and then cleaned with WD-40. So it's, it's not great, but I think it was good. Um, this was this was Ford Crystal Blue, and everything else was Ford Azure Blue. Um, this is the front. There's the Dell logo in nice blue. Ahaha, ha. that's quite good. So it's all color matching, <coughs> and this is the lid. <clears throat> which I think looks quite nice fortunately the paint job went a bit better um, unfortunately you can kind of see where some of the masking tape was which is kind of annoying but yeah that's the yeah. that's the top nice black stripe I think I might have laid it a bit too thick I don't know and I tried to get it as even as possible like <clears throat> about a centimeter about as even so it's not easy I have to tell you that but yeah that sort of just give that a bit of a so yeah I was thinking I'm still pondering whether or not to put a clear coat on it <clears throat> but I might let the other the, the owner decide that because I don't trust it I've heard stories of people putting clear coats on things and it doesn't turn out well, like it goes misty or milky, or it just isn't as clear as it should be. So, I mean, the paint's quite the paint is quite strong now that it's fully cured, but like any paint, it is going to be susceptible to damage from heavy objects or something sharp. Like if you put a monitor on it, for the love of God, it has to be an LCD and at least have it with rubber feet. Um, if not, put something on it. And then put it on it, but <clears throat> nothing heavy like a CRT because that will just probably not do a very good job. So, but yeah, that's those are the parts. And there's the that's that and that and the underside. Hopefully, you won't be able to see the underside much. It's not as well painted as the top, but yeah. But anyway, that's the seven. That's the seven five five. I'm, I'm actually using the seven sixty as a secondary machine um, but once this is all back together and sold and everything I'll sell the 760 so but yeah hopefully so I like to put that on there so that looked quite good yeah. anyway now that, now that it's finally painted I can actually start rebuilding it again so um, but yeah uh, <coughs> I've only put the two sides on here. This one's a bit broken, so I might need to epoxy that side down there. So, but yeah, other than that, I think it came out better than I expected, but probably not as good as I'd hoped, because I'm just a bit concerned about the strength of the paint. Um, when I do the same thing to the 760, I might primer it first, because I didn't primer this one. Um, so I might primer the 760 
I might prime with the 760 first, and then we'll see how that is. But the 760 is going to be red, not blue. It's going to be red. So that's going to be red. That's going to be red. And that's going to be red. So, yeah, we'll have to see how that turns out. So, yeah, look, you can see where the... The thing is, <clears throat> the masking tape only came up to about there because it had some newspaper attached to it. So, I don't know, that's weird. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. That was just a quick update on the paint jobs. And I'll return when it's, like, back together again and shit. So, yay for the thing. Bye. Okay, so here's the 755 rebuilt um, after having painted all the all the bits. Um, I've also repainted, I've also painted this. This wasn't painted before. Um, so I painted that just to make it look a bit nicer. Uh, that's just the PCI riser board. Um, annoyingly, I didn't notice that the lid there <laughs> will dig into the uh, will dig into the paint, but um, that's not a problem. Obviously, that's going to be fine. A bit annoying, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the thing put back together. It's not too bad. Um, I had to put some epoxy in there, which you can't see, to hold the front on. Is it gonna? It's not gonna. Is it gonna focus? Oh, there we go. Just there is some epoxy to hold the front on. Um, there shouldn't be any need to really take these off. I only took them off to paint. Um, I probably didn't have to, but well, I probably did actually. But took them off to paint, but also to clean. Um, because it was quite filthy. Um, this one down here is still broken. Hang on. Oh. Uh, hang on. And so this one's broken there. I did try and epoxy that, but the epoxy didn't actually touch anything to sort of stick it down. So, yeah. That's broken. But so really, I mean, that's the only thing. So, but if it's sitting on there, or even if it's sitting on its back, uh, you know, it won't, it won't have any effect. And of course, there's the bit of the plastic oh, that I repaired, which is there. It's a bit. That's the bit that I had that I fixed, which you can't. See, that, that didn't go too bad. Bit dirty. Uh. Oh, sticky bits. Yeah. Okay, I have to give that a clean up. Yeah. Put that down very slowly. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that. I haven't got windows on it just yet, because I was waiting for some memory to arrive. Um, this did have four gigabytes, but I found out that two of the gigabytes, or the two gigabyte stick, uh, was faulty. And I tried running it on two gigabytes, and I kept on getting errors saying that Windows has run out of memory, basically giving me about 1% of memory left. So I thought, well, I obviously can't sell it for two gigabytes because that wouldn't be anywhere near enough. So I bought two more one gigabyte sticks, exactly the same model, hopefully, um, as the ones that are already in there. So it will be a matching set. Focus, thank you. So it'll be a matching set, and there are already two gigabytes, oh, two one gig sticks in there. So yeah. Um, it's actually quite cheap, actually. I think it was like five pounds ninety-nine, which isn't too bad, actually. So as long as they work, you know. Um, so as long as they work, that's actually pretty good. So yeah, um, put those in, and I can finally get Windows on it, and I shall show it working. Uh, 
I was, con I was contemplating still painting this. If I did paint it, I'd probably spray it black because you can see it's it's like a weird shade, and that's and I don't think that's completely like reflection. So, but yeah, it's getting there. So, <sighs> it's getting there. It's getting there. It's taking a while though, but yeah. once Windows is on it, um, it should be okay. I do need to put the stickers on there. Um, although it's always hard to tell, you don't know who's going to buy it and what orientation they're going to have it. So, hang on. Ugh. So, do I stick the stickers that way, so that you know, like when it's vertical, or do I stick them this way? Like someone's going to have it on the. I mean, I'm sure most people nowadays will have it as a tower. Um, but I've never liked. I've never liked uh, vertical disc drives. So I always like them horizontal. So I'd probably use this on a desk if I had the space, but I'd have to use it flat. So, but yeah, I don't know. I might put them on so that the stickers are vertical. Oh, so the so that. So yeah, it's not too bad. Um, put that down. <laughs> yeah. So yep, I shall stick these in. And put Windows on it. And once Windows is on it, and all the updates, Microsoft Office, and activated, it doesn't need activating actually because it has an SLIC enabled BIOS. So I can install the Dell Dell specific version of Windows 7 Ultimate, and it'll activate legit because um, it's only for Dells. And since this is a Dell, um, it's good to go. So we shall go. Oh. We shall go from there, and uh, <laughs> hope that these these sticks in memory are good. So, pretty much it for the update. Um, most likely, this will be plastered or pasted on to the end of the other video because that was actually like five minutes long or something. I can't remember, but I'll carry on the video. And I don't know why that one came out shinier. Okay, okay the picture quality of this camera doesn't seem to be as good as it used to be. Um, but yeah, that's, you can't really see it, that's more reflective, I think it's because that was dried, this dried in the warmth, whereas this dried in the cold, so I'm not quite sure, so, hmm. good job so far, I will go now and stick these in, and then stick windows on, toodles!